blessed people, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me this past night. Um, in the midst of all that's going on in the face upon the face of the earth. The Lord Jehovah spoke with me this past night in a very, very important conversation. I was there standing, and then the Lord made me look up into the sky. And then I saw tremendous glory of the Lord coming from heaven and light up the sky towards the earth. Again, I saw tremendous glory of the Lord suddenly come from heaven. The earth was dark. The tremendous glory came from heaven and lit up the sky above the earth as he came. And then the next thing I realized, the rapture of the church had taken place. This past night, that is the conversation the Lord had with me. He showed me the coming of the Messiah to take his holy church. And this is a very, very uh, serious conversation at this hour because the earth, as we speak now, is totally engulfed, totally absorbed in handling the virus, the plague that I spoke on December 1, the year 2015. The entire earth is right now totally absorbed. If there is a time when the Messiah can really come at an hour when everybody least expected, then this is the hour. When the Bible says you will come on a day that you least expect and at an hour that nobody expects, everybody least expects, if there is any moment when people are totally engrossed, the total arts, the governments, the nations, the peoples, everyone is totally absorbed and consumed with the plague that I spoke uh, December 1, 2015, about four years or so ago. And uh, and I said the nation needed to repent. And there was a message regarding this plague you see here. This plague of the coronavirus is essentially preaching a message of the coming of the Messiah. But if you look at the earth now, they are totally absorbed, which is the right thing to do, of course. Uh, they are absorbed in how to handle the virus, how to handle the plague. But there is a message. The right thing to do is to make sure that you handle the plague, but to see also the spiritual message that the Lord was speaking the plague. So if there is a moment when the Lord can really surprise the earth as it is in the Bible, it's a moment like this one here, when everybody is totally absorbed and consumed into the plague, the dread of the plague, the death, and the, 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 the terror of death. Every nation, you know, the lockdown, shutdown going on. And then the next moment, the Bible says, at an hour you least expect. This is the moment when the entire earth is not focusing on the coming of the Messiah. They are focusing on developing human solution for the plague that is here. But that was not the reason the plague came. The reason the Lord sent me, to strike the earth with a coronavirus and give the details that will come from Asia. And only later I realized that meant it would come to the whole earth. It would start from Asia and engulf the whole earth. The reason was the book of life that is spoken about in that prophecy, that everybody may strive to ensure that their names are written in the book of life. It's as though... In that prophecy, the Lord says, when you see these words come to pass, when you see this plague come from Asia here, emanate from Asia, then you should all strive and ensure that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Bible says here in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, I'm reading verses 16 and 17, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice, of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord 
verse 18 says, Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And then in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, I'm reading verse 30 to 31, he says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send forth his angels with a great sound of a trumpet to the ends, up to the four winds, four wings, the four winds of the earth. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So, blessed people, this is a very tremendous time because First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, now says, after that, a further scripture in First Corinthians 15, says the following. Again, still talking about the coming of the Messiah. So if there is a time when the nations need to prepare properly, it's now. Because right now, everyone seems to be absorbed, which is the right thing to do anyway. However, you cannot lose focus on the mission of the message, the purpose of the message itself. Why the message came. If you follow the prophecy, you find that the message, the, 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 the the, the, the prophecy. The prophecy came with a message. It was tied to the message. A fair warning comes with a fair counsel. So, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, he says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, are the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruption, when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. So the Messiah is coming, blessed people. The Messiah is coming. For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. Thank you.